really not right. I'm gonna pull over right here. What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So, I just left a event from a local bike and coffee group I belong to. So, we're getting ready to go on a little bit of a cruise, a few of us. So, I guess I'll bring you guys along. I didn't record anything at the event because this is my first time meeting these guys and it's a little odd to put a camera in people's faces. So, we'll see how this goes. front of me his bike is ridiculously loud I thought my bike did some popping I don't tend to ride with uh, groups that often because most groups tend to be a bit dangerous but these guys they're a little bit older seem a lot more mellow we'll see how this goes you want to get up there
not right. I'm gonna pull over right here. Up on you, I guess. It is a gorgeous day out here. We are outside of Washington, Missouri on Highway 94 and the chopper broke down. So I met up with a local coffee and bike group. We went this morning, had coffee, spent a couple hours having some amazing conversation, getting to meet new people. We set out on the group ride and the bike broke down. So I had the GoPro going when it started acting up. I don't know if it's if it captured anything yet i'll find that out when i edit this but uh i was coming up the hill and the bikes start cutting out i thought it was a carburetor problem pulled to the side of the road at the top of the hill with the bike running i started I, well first i opened the tank seeing if i had gas it did um so i started adjusting the air fuel screw no difference and at that point i turned the bike off and i went to hit the key and nothing so uh, I've suspected the stator of going bad for a while, but I haven't been able to prove it because it's been super, super intermittent. Put my multimeter on the battery, zero volts, totally dead. So I'm about 10 miles from Washington, Missouri. There's an O'Reilly's there. Uh, I've got a tow truck coming to tow me back down this hill, and I will throw a battery in it and at O'Reilly's and limp it back to the shop. So is what it is but the group that i met today were awesome they actually doubled back to check on me make sure i was okay which was great a lot of groups won't do that for you so Alrighty, so I got towed to O'Reilly's and there's a new battery installed in the bike. And like I said, this issue, it's super intermittent. Like I just fired the bike up, put my multimeter on it. It's charging 14.2 volts. So, sorry, my mouth is super dry. I haven't really had a drink of anything about three hours. So, yeah, it's charging 14.2. So, I'm gonna hydrate a bit and then hop on the bike and head back to my shop. Hopefully I make it swap this out for my Indian and then I guess uh, I got a stator at the shop for it and uh, I'll order a voltage regulator and just replace both it's a super intermittent issue so who knows but I'm gonna shut up get some fluids in me and get back on the road and I will catch up with you guys when I get back to my shop all right guys so I made it back to the shop chopper made it back no issues um, I do have a stator on the shelf and a rectifier. I need to buy a rectifier, but uh, get that done sometime in the next few weeks. Uh, one of the shadows did sell, and the other shadow is currently pending, so hopefully that'll be gone soon. I'll hop on the Indian and ride it home. But overall, not the video I planned on shooting today, but like Shade Tree Surgeon said, if you want to have a YouTube channel, get an old Harley, the content will create itself, and that it does. So, let's add all up. Oop. Sorry. Um, you know, if you're going to ride choppers, things are going to break, so either, if you're going to ride choppers, you need to either A, know how to work on bikes, or B, be willing to learn how to work on bikes. It's just the nature of the beast. So, I always carry tools with me. 
there's never been an issue I haven't been able to to fix. The only reason it got towed today, it only got towed 10 miles. Just I was not pushing the bike 10 miles through the hills. So I had it towed into town where I was able to fix it in the parking lot at O'Reilly's. But, well not really fix it, band-aid it to get it back. My beard looks like hot trash right now. But I guess that's going to pretty much wrap this video up. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. You guys know I love you. It's like none of this would be possible without you guys. So if you can do me a favor, please give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. There's also links to all of our social media as well as our company website, hotheadsalls.com, where we sell everything for horses. There's even a coupon code down there. So all that's in the description box. That's going to wrap this one up, guys. I will see you in the next one. I'm out of here.